Hey, Walleye Wisdom Watchers, this is Gary Spiker reporting from Rock Island, Illinois, down here at the Quad City uh, Sports Show. And I'm fortunate to grab one of the longtime field editors for uh, In Fisherman Magazine, Matt Strom. And Matt, uh, you just finished a presentation here on holistic fishing. Matt, what's holistic fishing about? Well, that's my name for it. It might be, there might be a better name for it out there, but holistic fishing is basically what I'd like people to do is, is look at the whole environment instead of just their target species. You know, a lot of people have the idea that if you, if you have a problem with your fishery, you can just stock more fish. Well, if there's nothing there for them to eat, then, <laughs> then obviously uh, that's not going to work, just stocking more fish. So the more people know about that whole chain, see, uh, bass eat shad or they eat uh, uh, chubs or they eat suckers or whatever, and the suckers and the chubs are all looking for different things. They're looking for invertebrates or they're eating algae or they're eating uh, plankton. And the chain of events that takes place that, that sets up this uh, uh, location of fish, it, it's all dependent upon a lot of things in the environment. There's not, you know, bass don't live independently. They need uh, and uh, walleyes and pike too. Nothing in the environment lives independently. Everything has, everything's connected. So uh, the more people know about, you know, the whole picture, the more they are likely to protect the, the whole environment. You know, that's really a very in-depth look at the fishing industry. And one of the things I wanted to ask you about is I, I know in uh, Minnesota, uh, that they're going to start more concerted efforts to uh, protecting uh, the environment, particularly as boats move from one body of water to another. Is that a good first step, do you think? Uh, well, they, there are other steps, too. That's a good step. Uh, a lot of steps right now. They're protecting uh, a lot of the uh, aspects of our, our living on lakes, for instance. They're making more rules about what you can do on the lake shore. People, you know, used to think you could just clear your lake shore and, and put your lawn right down to the edge of the lake, and that, that more than anything else, I think, has destroyed a lot of our lakes. It's destroyed. Uh, we've filled in wetlands. Uh, pike depend on those for spawning. Uh, we've uh, put fertilizers on our lawns, and that ends up eutrophicating our lakes. We end up taking the cover out of our shoreline areas to clear them, and that takes cover away from the little fish, so they can't hide from the predators. It goes on and on and on. The more you leave it alone, leave those logs in the water and leave that natural shoreline, the, the better off we all are. Well, I appreciate your comments and for taking the time to visit with us. And uh, thanks for all the great writing, the great uh, reading I've had over well, these many years. It's been, uh, it's been great to follow your career and uh, wish you the best the rest of this year, Matt. Thanks so much. You bet. Have a great one.